Good morning. For my presentation, I have chosen to do Zespri and their supply chain. Zespri was formed in the 2000s as a response to oversupply in the market. In the mid 1980s, most kiwi fruit produced there was the most kiwi fruit produced and exported ever. Between the years 1981 and 87, the amount went from 22,000 tons to 203,000 tons. The price, because of the oversupply, dropped from $7.84 a tray to $3. This, plus a rise in the New Zealand dollar, made it relatively more expensive overseas. This caused drops in orchard values and equity crises for most growers. This started the debate of why we should have a single desk monopoly. Zespri controls the amount of fruit leaving New Zealand at all times. This means that all growers are insured good returns and there is no price war between individual exporters. The varieties they offer are green, sweet green, sun gold and gold, with organic variations in green and sun gold. The largest producers of kiwi fruit are China, Italy, New Zealand, Chile and Greece. Our largest export markets are South Korea, Brazil, Indonesia, India, Malaysia and Thailand. This is my supply chain diagram, which shows the supply chain broken down into five steps. Growing, harvesting, logistics, marketing and retailing. Within growing, there is PSA, a disease which kills the kiwi fruit vines and is very contagious. This means it can be spread between just shoes going from orchard to orchard and orchard equipment. The next one is residue limits. These are put in place by Zespri Crop Protection Standard to ensure that all fruit is safe to eat and there's not too many chemicals on it. Harvesting, there is dry matter. This means that the taste of each kiwi fruit is consistent. It needs to have the right bricks level before it's harvested. Health and safety is put in place by the New Zealand government in every workplace in order to keep all workers safe at all times. Within logistics, there is shipping, which dictates how it is packed and the temperature that is needed for it to still be fresh when it reaches the export market. Secure export the Customs Secure Export Scheme is put in place by New Zealand Customs and can be used by all food distributors. This means that they cooperate with Customs and through, from the point it leaves their warehouse to the point it gets to the export market, it is guaranteed to move through without contamination. It also helps the movement through borders. Traceability is the ability to scan any kiwi fruit and tell exactly where it comes from. This is handy if it's needed to recall. Marketing. A monopoly market means there's no price war between many exporters. This ensures good returns for all growers and control of supply. Trade agreements and open market opportunities. Less tariffs means that our kiwi fruit are more competitive overseas. The latest trade agreement that relates directly to kiwi fruit is the one between South Korea and New Zealand in 2014. Within retailing, there is quality management. This ensures consistency. This can be done through thinning of the fruit to reduce only, only the vines to good fruit. This ensures that all the nutrients are just going to fruit that are going to meet export quality. And also, fruit are checked over in the pack house for any inconsistencies and blemishes. Labeling allows Zespri to, uh, to, to um, differentiate their product from any other producers within the marketplace. The three most important uh, regulatory measures are that around PSA. This is because PSA almost wiped out New Zealand's entire kiwi fruit industry which is worth $1.2 billion. It affects the plant health and not the actual kiwi fruit. Biosecurity measures and quarantine measures are put in place in order to stop the spread of PSA. These include the cleaning of boots and equipment and checking at many different customs points. Post export, many different customs points. Regulation helps to stop the spread of the disease throughout New Zealand. Trimatter. This ensures the quality and consistency of the fruit. This means that every time a consumer buys a kiwi fruit, it is going to taste the same as the last one they bought. The bricks level that was required before 
is 14.5%, but Leon Jaga, the CEO of Zespri, has looked into making even sweeter fruit. These have been accompanied by, by incentives for growers to reach a sweeter bricks level, which means that they will receive a higher pay for their fruit. This is regulated by Zespri. Traceability is probably the most important regulation measure measure for all for all food products. It's a safety net to increase if anything is wrong. It means that specific lots of fruit can be recalled without having to recall the whole lot. Consumers have also shifted to caring where their product comes from, and traceability gives them this opportunity to look at which orchard their fruit was grown on. It also stops the spread of bugs and diseases as if a batch of kiwi fruit is found to have a bug or disease it can just be recalled without contaminating all the others. Getting regulation right is important. It's ensuring that there is enough regulation but not so strict that it is debilitating to growers and most importantly that consumers are safe. Why do we regulate? To ensure consumers have safe food to consume at all times. The system and ensure that the system isn't cheated by people looking just to make a quick dollar. It is also to protect all growers from negative impacts throughout the supply chain. The impacts of regulation mean all consumers have a safe and reliable food, for, food source at all times. Producers must take responsibility for their actions also. In conclusion, I have broken the supply chain of Zespri's kiwi fruit into five key steps with at least two regulation measures in each. These five steps describe regulations right from the fruitlet to the ripened kiwi fruit on the end shelf. Thank you.